this snow is disgusting. It's murdering everything. But I didn't have any school today, so that's okay. I don't really care. Look at all the snow. It's evil. Rawr! Hi guys. I don't know if I can get my camera to focus on the color of my furs. There we go. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> I look like a doll. I'm gonna be reviewing more Ejus today. Because I got some in the mail. And it's all up in here. I'm gonna get that out for you guys. So, yeah, this thing is still kind of broken. Let's see if I can show you. I don't want to break it more, but sometimes this part comes off and all the wires get exposed and it's all hideous. Oh god, this exposure thing is pissing me off a lot. I'm sorry. Um, meh. Just gonna clean out this little guy so I can get new flavors. flavors. So I don't know which one to try. We have Hunger Up for Seventy. Ooh, Hunger Up for Seventy. And we have Death by Chocolate and French Vanilla Kiss. I kind of want to try Hunger of Persephone because that was the one that I ordered originally and they replaced it with... Oh god, no, 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 things are falling, I suck. Um, yeah, they replaced it with this one. Now this one's good, but it's not the one I wanted, so... Yeah. Persephone, you are hungry. This little glass bottle is pretty nice. I keep meaning to show on my video. But yeah, it's a glass dropper. It's pretty nice. It's very lovely. This is my bottom coil Evod. It was like $5. And yeah, so I've never tried this before. Um, and as far as first impressions go, it smells fruity. I'm not sure if it smells really pomegranate, but certainly it smells fruity. Yes. I'm filling this thing up. There is something distinctly pomegranate about the smell, but it's not necessarily something I would want to vape. But usually the taste is different than the scent. So, just gonna have to cross my fingers on that. I don't know how much to fill this up with. So I'm just gonna put one more squeezy squeeze in here. And... Yeah. Ugh, I keep knocking things over. Okay, so... Oh, gonna make sure this is all cleaned off. And screw that little guy in there. So nothing drips out. See, it's only a little more, well, it's like a fourth full. I don't know if you can actually tell, but yeah. So, I'm going to stick that on here. Gonna do that a little bit so it can absorb all the flavors and wonderful things. Then i close this up. This batch was made on December 5th, 2013. See? Focus. Stupid camera thingy. Focus. <laughs> you see it? No, you can't see it. Oh well. Um. Yeah. Cool. I've been letting it steep in my cabinet for two or three days now. Um, so hopefully it's ready for tasting. Still gonna burn out the other flavors, I think, but, you know. And the water that's in it. It's 
got absorbed. This is kind of like the bed of roses. It's a nice subtle hint of flavor. Turning the mic. See for production, as usual. It's very sweet, but like not that sweet. I mean, it's n not sour. It gives me the sensation of actual pomegranate seeds, like they're a little bit bitter. Um, but they're still sugary. They're kind of dry, I guess. Like, juicy, but that dry flavor, you know? Like how an ale can be dry. It's like that. It's good. I can't get over this exposure. Uh, look at my eyes. Oh. I'm, I'm just a white blob with eyes and a little nose and a little mouth and barely any eyebrows. Uh. Oh, sorry. Really weird. Stupid iPhone. You piece of shit. And I think it's a nice flavor. It's really hard to say. What it tastes like. This doesn't taste like that much. I'll turn the volts up again. I went at 3.2 and now I'm just around 3.8, bring it to 4. Definitely more flavor. I'm still getting more of a floral feel from it, but I'm not sure if that's because I just had bed of roses in it. I really should probably just get a completely new coil when I try a new flavor. Maybe I'll do that next time. I do have five new coils, but they're all a different resistance, and I'm not really, I don't really know how to deal with their new resistance. It's a higher resistance, so it's less of a hot vape. I don't really like hot vapes, which is why I keep it pretty down on my voltage, but I'm testing it out for you guys. So yeah, it's sweet, kind of dry, like a bittersweet, bittersweet, um, fruity. It does have a like vague pomegranate feel to it, but I'm not like a big pomegranate eater, so I don't really know what it's supposed to taste like, but I think this definitely reminds me of like pomegranate. It does. I don't know if that's true because it's the name on the bottle or something, but... No, it definitely is pomegranate. It's very good. I could vape this all day, and I probably will. You can go do that and watch some Angel edit this video. Bleh. Bye! Shits and fucks. Shits and fucks.
snow everywhere.